Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, bienvenidos and hajime mashte. My name is Hilary. This week's video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be doing a voiceover on the tutorial for my pride inspired look. So as you can already see, I primed my face and using the red shade in the James Charles palette started to outline the original spiral for this tie dye inspired look. I've been really excited about this video because I thought voiceovers could give more information in a shorter amount of time so please let me know if you prefer the voiceovers over the old content. I'm really sorry about the pulled up hair in the outfit for right now. I changed shirts and I take down my hair for the very end, so stick around to see that. As you can see now, I'm taking the hot pink color and blending all around that previously laid red shade. This is the start to our rainbow tie-dye look. Now I'm taking the orange shade and continuing down past the pink shade. Now repeating the same process with the yellow shade. Let me know which color in the rainbow is your favorite. I think mine is probably purple. And now again with the light green shade. Fun fact about this look, after I took it off, I had rainbow stained eyebrows. You guys know the drill by now, we're moving to that blue color. One thing that I would like to mention is that for each one of the colors, I use a different makeup brush, just so that nothing would get messy or cloudy. Time for purple now. So the purple should always follow the red and that 
pinky purple color that is in the palette I found was perfect for blending between the red and the purple. You can see right here where I messed up, I didn't continue the red spiral all the way around enough, so I had to work backwards from purple uh, back to red right here. So as I'm sure you guys saw, this was also my audition for the mini VidCon Insta Influencer event. And that short 45 minute video is like my most viewed video now. It has like 35 views and my average is like 3 to 7. So thank you guys so much for all the support. It's, it, just, it just made me smile so much. So thank you guys again. You can also see here how I, like I said before, I had to work backwards from purple. So, I kind of messed up a little bit. As you just saw, I had to wipe away some of the makeup where I ended it at my jawline and continue it up my face. Right now I'm just intensifying any places where I think the color might have faded or isn't as vibrant as I want it to be. Now I'm taking this white chunky glitter color from an eyeshadow palette and trying to apply that with my finger as highlight but as you will see shortly it doesn't work out and I resort to using a brush which I liked the result of much better. I'm sorry this part is a little out of frame but I am applying a purple liquid lipstick to my bottom lip because it kind of worked out perfectly so that purple was on my bottom lip and now I'm using colored mascaras um, and working outside in from purple to blue.
I accidentally lost the footage of applying my dark blue and teal mascara, but I promised you that though, and now I am just continuing the silver accents with some silver glitter um, eyeliner. Now I want to take the time to just say happy Pride Month everyone, even though I am not a part of the LGBTQ plus community, I will stand by and support everyone who is. So just, you know, quick happy Pride. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, there will be a link in the description. I will be posting pictures and a quick tutorial of this look over on there, so please check that out. And that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!